Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and today I'm going to show you guys how to use the newest version of iTunes which is iTunes 11.0.1 .1. this is on the Mac so if you're using a Windows I will try my best to provide the instructions on what to do but it should be very similar to the Mac but yeah I will t show you guys the basics and how to navigate through the new iTunes layout import music from CDs navigating through playlists and devices so let's begin by opening iTunes I already have iTunes open so once you open it you will come up to this new layout which looks just like this and what you want to do is um, let me move this out of the way what you want to do is uh, get familiar familiarized with the navigation bar right up here this is the navigation bar this is where you'll do most of your clicking and navigating and moving around here's a scroll bar you all know I'm gonna scroll down all the way down to the bottom which I got my music that I actually have on the computer now you can okay I'm gonna show you guys this is simple it's the play this is the volume the music then you got the music deep movies this is what you got on your computer at the moment and then you can navigate through your albums artists and uh, so forth and genres videos and it shows you everything so what you want to do what I'm gonna show you guys first is uh, how to import CDs and what you want to do is put in a CD doesn't as long as it's a music CD you'll open and uh, it should if you're on Windows it will pop up a window what you want to open it with open it with iTunes and uh, on the Mac it just opens it up automatically for you with iTunes and it gives you the option if you want to import the music so what you want to do is um, once the CD is open and it's on iTunes, um, you can select the songs with a simple check mark. That means that marks which song you want to be put onto your computer from the CD. Once you've selected your uh, songs, then you want to, what you want to do is uh, hit import CD. And then that will put the songs directly onto your computer and with the album cover and with all these artists, album, and gender. And uh, since I already got the CD, I'm just going to eject it since um, I don't need it but it's not at the moment but yeah I just wanted to show you guys that and then once you uh, import it you can search it so there, there here it is it's Disciple and uh, here's the songs but and th that's it and it will be on there and then from there if you wanna add it to a playlist first I'm gonna show you guys how to create a play playlist is go to playlist then if you want a new playlist if you don't have any playlist yet go to file new playlist and then you just hit new playlist then you just give it a name new playlist and hit enter and then hit done and actually you could add songs from there but I already got a playlist so I'm gonna delete it which is just right click and delete and what you want to do is in order to um, add songs to your playlist is you can simply if you want the whole album is simply click and drag and then it'll pull up this little sidebar to add the full album into that certain playlist that you want but if you only want one song one click on the album or just go to songs and then and then drag the song and it'll put put it place it right into the playlist where you want what playlist you want so yeah, that's very simple but now I'm gonna show you guys um, this real quick um, the, in the new version they have the iCloud integration now so that when if you have don't have okay for example if your brother bought a song on a different computer and uh, he has it on that iTunes library and you want it on your computer you can search it on these have these marks that means you've already purchased the song but you ha don't yet have it on this computer so you, what you all have to do once you found the song that you like and that it's already been purchased purchased on a different device or computer you may just simply click the download through iCloud option and it will download the song directly to your computer from the iCloud which is a very very cool feature now I'm gonna go straight to the devices if you have device con connected once you connect your device open up iTunes and it will pop up right up here it will show iPad iPod, iPad mini, whatever you have, but you can slip, simply click on it and uh, down here you have the sync option, check for updates and then you got the navigation up here what's on your iPod. Music, movies, 
Facebooks, iTunes, U, Podcasts, and yeah, then you hit simply, and then you can hit what's on this iPod, and then hit done, and if you want to eject it once it's done syncing, make sure it's done syncing before you eject it, that's how you eject it, and then if you want to go to iTunes Store, it's right there also, and then you want to go back to your library, you're back at your library, and uh, that basically covers it all, and it's fairly easy, all the navigation is up here, it's just simple as click and drag, and playlists and if you you like if you're that kind of person that likes to listen to music just on your computer and do exercise and just listen to music that's on your computer not through any device and you can simply now create a playlist on your computer as you're going as you're listening to music so for example if I wanted to drag this song I'm gonna okay <laughs> that was unnecessary. Now what you want to do is uh, drag the song up here and it'll add it to your playlists. And as you can see now you got up next. This song's up next. You can clear it as well. And uh, that's basically it you guys. If you have any questions, any questions at all, be sure to comment it and I will answer it as soon as possible. That's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and how to navigate through iTunes 11.0.1 and later guys